Hi everyone, this is Paulina and I wanted to give you a little more information about the HCG diet. Today is day number two for me. I am still on the loading days and I'm enjoying some pizza and of course my all-time favorite sidekick. I'm going to miss you so much. Um, I've had some questions already from some friends and family members about the HCG diet that I wanted to clarify here on YouTube as well. Um, and actually, before I continue, I wanted to let you know this tacky sheet behind me is up because there is a bookcase behind me and my webcam is trying to focus in and out on the books as opposed to me. And so in order to keep um, me from being so fuzzy on the camera, I've had to hang up a, a sheet behind me. So, And of course, I was too lazy to iron it. So in case you're wondering... At any rate, more about the diet, um, I wanted to let you know that I am obviously on the oral drops and not the injections. The injections are available at your doctor's office and they're a little more expensive, of course. And from the research that I have found, it seems that people are having roughly about the same kind of results on the injections as they are on the oral drops. It is a hormone. It is placed under your tongue three times a day, and it is supposed to um, suppress your appetite, and it's supposed to have an effect on the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus? It is located in the brain, and it basically controls your body temperature, your hunger, your sleep, uh, your thirst, fatigue, all of the above. Come to think of it, there might be something wrong with my hypothalamus if I'm always hungry. <laughs> Um, bad joke. Anyhow, um, so if you were to attempt this diet, this VLCD, this very low calorie diet without the drops, you would have problems within two or three days. Um, because you're only allowed to consume 500 calories, your body would pretty much attack your muscle mass and start eating away at your muscle mass for energy. And so that's, that's bad. And so what the hormone does is it allows the hypothermis to target your stored fat. So if you have excess fat on your body in certain areas, that's the fat you'll probably start losing first because the hormone is allowing the hypothermis to use that stored fat, that stored energy up first. And so that's, that's kind of how this diet works. Um, and it's not long term, it's just short term to get rid of that excess fat and then help you maintain that weight that you reach after, after you've stabilized your weight. Um, there are three phases of this diet. There is phase one, which is the loading phase. Mm. And that is for two days, you pretty much gorge. And the this phase is actually crucial because your body is taking in so much fat, it really doesn't know what to do. And so it's kind of a shocker for the system when you suddenly go on that very low calorie and it causes rapid weight loss. And that is why people have the most weight loss in the first week while your body is adjusting and releasing the fat. A lot of people are calling um, their weight loss a release and I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and use the term release as well as opposed to lost because ultimately what could be lost might also be found again and I certainly don't want to find uh, those pounds again if you get my drift so um, so phase one is the loading it's two days Phase two is the releasing or the maintenance is what it's called. And that is where you are continuing with the drops and you're also taking in 500 calories. And it's a short while. I bought the 26 day cycle, so I'm only going to be doing it for 26 days. The other cycle is a 40 day cycle. Um, you can do more than one cycle. You just have to wait so many days in between. This little booklet tells you all about it. Um, you just have to wait so many days in between your cycles. So if your targeted weight loss is 60 pounds, you know, you could do a few more cycles until you lose your 60 pounds or your 80 pounds. Um, 
So phase two is, is where you're losing the weight. Phase three is stabilizing, and it's very important to stabilize your weight um, because it says in here, where is it? It says, okay, well, I can't find it at this moment, but when you're stabilizing your weight, you're allowed 1,500 calories as opposed to uh, the 500 calories, and you're on that for three days, excuse me, three weeks. Oh, I found it. It says it takes about three weeks for the body to stabilize to your new weight. So this is phase three. During this maintenance phase, you are training your body to remain at its new weight consistently in preparation for adding starches back into your diet. Calories should be a maximum of 1,500 a day. You will typically eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two to three snacks throughout the day. Um, and then it says, during this period, you must realize that sugars and carbohydrates are by far the most dangerous. No breads, potatoes, rice, pasta, sweets, etc. Eat healthy meals of meat, fruit, vegetables, um, and adding good fats like olive oil, nuts, dairy, eggs, and avocados. So, um, so that's kind of your third phase. Your third phase is over three weeks, and then you just eat a healthy lifestyle after that. And if you want to do another cycle, you can. And so, um, what else? I think that was it. So I wanted to talk about the phases and um, the dangers of trying this diet with, you know, without the drops. You you can't. You shouldn't. It would be crazy. And um, and just let you know that I'm also loading today. And honestly, I couldn't sleep last night. I had eaten so much garbage that your body feels, ugh. So I'm, I'm looking forward, I'm actually looking forward to feeling lighter, healthier, and better. My only real concern is that I am going to have headaches from the caffeine withdrawals. So um, to prepare for that, I have bought green tea and um, it's got caffeine in it. So hopefully I won't have, I won't go through really bad withdrawals, but I'll keep you posted. I will be posting more videos and feel free to join along with me on this journey. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I will see them and I will reply. So thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.